Okay, so you've got some business success coming in over here. You've got uh, Saturn with Venus here. So definitely some personal finances coming in. Some new money coming in here. And it looks like it would be quite successful. You can see this woman's got this little jar full of coins over here. A, a little uh, box full of money here. So uh, definitely some financial success coming in for you over here. Now you have been dealing with a very uncertain uh, circumstance within your work. There might have been a miscommunication or maybe a breakdown of communication. You've been waiting for some kind of news to come in over here with the Saturn in uh, um with Mercury, it looks like there has been some kind of problems, uh, you know, uh, news not coming to you when it needed to. So you have, may have been waiting for some kind of news and there has been a delay in it coming through. So uh, you've got a, su a successful completion over here. So Mercury with uh, Jupiter means that there's some good news and it, it shows that whatever you've been doing as far as business dealings goes or dealings with your work, uh, there's definitely going to be abundance coming in over here and there's a successful completion of some kind of project that you've been doing. Now, in the past, you've been dealing with affairs of the heart, so there might have been problems as far as relationship goes, and you have been trying to sort through those. And you've also had a lot of problems, mental challenges going on over here. You've been thinking a lot about it. There might have been some fighting going on, some arguments going on with this Mercury and, and uh, Mars. So you might have been dealing with something that was very difficult, that caused a lot of problems, and, you know, it caused a lot of drama as well. Uh, uh, and you've been dealing with that in the past. So going into the future, you've got some good news coming in over here. Mercury and, and Venus here together. So some really uh, welcome news coming in for you. Uh, you'll hear that soon. And, uh, it's you know, you're still going to be dealing with a few little obstacles, you know, a little nig few niggly problems, uh, you know, causing a little bit of confusion here and there uh, with this Jupiter and uh, Neptune. So, you know, not everything being very clear. There might be some mis miscommunications going Going on there, uh, you know, things not going according to plan, uh, causing more irritation rather than major, major problems. And you're going to have to sort through that. You can see there's a little hammer that she's dealing with uh, to break this nut open. So you're, you're going to have to deal with these problems. And, you know, it's going to take a little bit of force on your part. Uh, but they're not... Um, life-changing problems. They're just little uh, uh, irritations, rather, that you're going to have to be deal with, dealing with. But there is some good news coming in. There's some business success or money coming in as far, uh, you know, uh, success as far as your money and your business goes as well. So those are the energies for those two weeks, for those, that week, rather. So this is the Green Witch Tarot. I have shuffled this deck. See what it's got to say. Okay, so you've got the three of pentacles over here. So this has been work. You've been working really, really hard to get things done. You've gotten a lot, a lot of recognition for what you've been doing. You've been putting a lot of effort and energy into this work. A lot of people recognizing your skills and talents. You may have been collaborating with a lot of people, so there's a lot of communication going on over here. You're being seen as an expert, and you're dealing with other experts as well. So you're putting a lot of effort into it to build something very solid, some some kind of solid foundation, some kind of solid. Uh, thing as far as your work goes so um, you have been putting in a lot of effort and money has been coming in through that so whatever you're working for is being quite successful and you're collaborating and meeting a lot of people and communicating with a lot of people as well about finances so there's a new project coming in for you on the work front over here you've got the ace of wands so something brand new coming in and it's very you, know, you can see a lot of cherries, so you know, you've been cherry-picking it. This is a news, news coming in about it, because this bird is bringing in this news, and uh, it is some new project that is coming in. You're having, um, you know, it's going to be something that is going to take up a lot of your time and effort. You've got uh, nature over here, which is really, um, you know, the devil card, which is about work. Uh, so Saturn uh, ruling this particular card, and it means that you're going to, it's going to, uh, grab your attention or grab all your time. It's going to be something that you're going to have to focus on. It's some kind of big business because you've got this bear over here in the back of you, and that usually means big business. And you know you'll be collaborating with a lot of people as well. So this new project that comes in, it's got got to do uh, with working for maybe a big company or working on a very big scale, and it's going to be something that ties you up 
or ties up your time quite a bit. So you're going to be very, very focused on this particular work. And you'll get that news soon. So in the past, you had the Three of Wands over here. It looks like you may have done some travel in the recent past. Uh, you know, you may have even launched out some kind of project or put out something of You've been communicating with a lot of people on an international basis. It looks like there was travel over here as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, you, this is waiting for your ships to come in. So if you have finished a project or you've put out um, a new project or you put out a project, it looks like there was some good financial returns from that particular project. So you've got the Knight of Wands over here in the past few months. You're taking control of that situation. So you're in some kind of leadership. This is also about travel. So you may have, it looks like you've been traveling recently and, you know, or going towards your path. Uh, you're following your route. You, you've got a direction in your life. You've taken control. This woman's on this horse and she's steering the horse. So you are very much in control and there's a lot of communication going on. This might have been travel to do a job somewhere else. So you may have uh, been, uh, you know, moved away from your home where you were home-based and moving away on an international front, communicating with a lot of people, foreign people moving to a foreign land, maybe a warmer climate to your work, uh, but a lot of communication as well. You've been, uh, you know, maybe over the internet, maybe even telephonically, but definitely on your path and uh, being very focused and, you know, knowing where you're going as well. So in the past, what's in your mind? You've let go of the past. So you've decided to move away from all that didn't serve you in the past. Let it go. Uh, you may have left somebody behind and moved forward. You, you know, uh, maybe even physically moved forward. This has been your wish. There's a wishing well over here. So you've made that wish and you've decided to move forward. And it's brought in a lot of transformation for you as well. It seems like you are now focused on your work. So you've got the Ten of Pentacles over here, and this is the card of achievement, uh, you know, achieving financial success. It's also uh, ending, you know, having ended an old job and starting something brand new that's going to bring in a lot of financial rewards. If you've gone through a divorce, this is the ending of that situation and the end of that particular cycle. So you have a cut financial ties with somebody here with the Ten of Pentacles. It's either you've given up an old job or you've given up a relationship where you were financially linked to somebody and you've started off. There's been money that has come in because of this uh, severing of this tie between you and this person or you and this company. Uh, some kind of payout has come in, but you have definitely ended that cycle and you are moving on. You've got the Ten of Cups as well. Emotionally as well, it seems like you're at the end of a difficult situation. So once you made up your mind that you are cutting ties with this particular person and leaving them behind, it seems like you've either cut financial ties with them as well and emotional ties as well. And you know, you, this is the end of your difficulties. You feel like uh, now you want to move forward. You've got a lot of um, ideas in your head on how you want to move forward. Uh, and you're looking at things from a very, very different perspective, almost childlike. So you're starting off fresh again. So you've ended two difficult cycles and you are now moving forward. And you've got the Four of Cups. You're waiting for an offer to come in. So you might have put out some feeders. This could be a work offer. This could be an emotional offer as well. Uh, you can see the door is half open. So maybe this person has already started communicating with you and you're waiting for a final decision, a final offer, uh, you know, to make it official, if you like. So you are waiting for some kind of offer to come in at this particular moment. You've got the Lady and the Lord. There's a choice that you have to make. So there's a decision coming for you, uh, an important decision. Uh, it could be about work. Um, it could be about love. Uh, and uh, you have to think very clearly and make sure that you can, you know, look at all the facts and figures before you make that decision. So going into the future, you've got the world card, uh, the sun, and the wheel of the earth. Three major arcana cards. So this is a major life change that you are going through at this particular moment. You've ended two, a difficult cycle, these two tens over here. You're waiting for a sacrament of offer. The world card is about, uh, you know, reaching the end of an old cycle. So this was something that you needed to go through and you finally come to terms with it. You were dealing with a very toxic person, it seems, you know, a, doc a very toxic situation because you've got this massive snake over here. This person, this particular toxic person or situation affected your stability and your growth. It affected communication. It, it blocked the sun out of your life. It, this cycle is now finished. It is now time for you to move on. And you have made that decision. It seems like you've ended. You've also, uh, you know, um, reached um, completion. 
uh, you've understood it, you, you've uh, come to terms with it, and you are now ready to move on. If it was an old job, you have now finished with that particular phase of your life, and you are moving on to something brand new. And if it was an old relationship, you have, um, you know, come to terms with it, and you are now moving forward. So you have achieved, um, you know, uh, your le you have learned your life lesson, rather, and you are now ready to move forward. And any kind of negativity, you are now um, leaving it behind and moving on. So whatever that situation was, was, was a very toxic situation, a very restrictive situation, and it has now come to its conclusion. You've got the sun card over here. You will now move uh, you know, towards a positive cycle. The sun is a very positive cycle. It means that you will achieve everything that you want. A lot of happiness and light and enlightenment coming into your life as well. And everything that you've worked hard for, you will achieve. Because with the sun, you always achieve uh, you know, after lots of hard work, after difficulties, the sun has come up for you. So a lot of clarity coming in as well for you. And uh, it's going to be, you know, it's the time where you now can sit back and relax. This is also a card that is saying that any kind of health issues that you may have been having are now going to resolve themselves. There's some communication coming in as well for you, and that's going to bring a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, something that is good. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in over here. So this is all very, very positive. It means that you are now moving into a new phase and you can see that the center of this wheel is the pentacle. So money coming in for you, a lot of abundance, and there's a message coming in as well. So you are at a point now where, uh, you know, things are starting to look up and things are going to move in a very, very positive direction for you. Uh, you have successfully completed lessons that you were supposed to have learned. And now the universe is going to gift you with something really wonderful. So uh, this looks like it's going to be all favorable, really, really, really good way to to end a spread three major kind of cards and it just looks like there's a lot of abundance happiness joy something brand new coming in for you and something that is going to bring you uh, into a new phase in your life this could also be you know international communication something that is making you very famous as well so something really good coming in for you um something very positive so this is the angel tarot And you can see here the release card here, which says the end of a phase of situation, spiritual transformation, a time to, to move on. So this is the death card. And this is definitely, you know, this has been on your mind. And this is what you're going to be doing is ending that phase and something very, very positive coming in. You have now, you know, grown up spiritually grown up and the universe recognizes that you've been through a very difficult time and is now going to gift you with something really positive a time of positive change a situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side so you've got the wheel over here with archangel michael archangel michael is somebody that rules karma or divine justice so if anything has been going against you you will now start seeing or reaping the rewards of um, you know all the good that you've done so a really good positive change coming in for you and you've got the seven of earth over the here, who says seeds well planted, a temporary pause in um, action, unnecessary worry. So stop worrying about things right now. It looks like you have got only positive cards in this. And everything that you have invested, you will reap the rewards of it with the seven of earth. So things, it says seeds well planted. You can see this beautiful big tree over here. So this is an, a lot of fruit on this tree. So you can see that a lot is coming your way. So, you know, all the difficulties that you've been through are now at, at an end. And you will now start seeing some positive changes coming in uh, with this new wheel of fortune coming in twice for you over here so this is positive uh you know abundance is coming in and with the sun is a really good positive outcome um and with the world it's reaching completion and achievement as well and so you know you're leaving behind toxic people and toxic situations and you are now going to be able to move forward and the universe will gift you with a l plenty with abundance so this is a really good read um and um all the best uh, thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to like share subscribe uh take care now goodbye